welcome back to the drivers up today we're talking about the audi r8 v10 plus so the audi r8 v10 plus is based on the lamborghini huracan platform they both share the same chassis and they both share the same engine they both have a 5.2 liter v10 which produces 610 horsepower metric horsepower but in proper american horsepower terms it produces 602 uh, it produces 413 pound feet of torque because it's a naturally aspirated engine that's why the torque level is kind of low but still because of their all wheel drive and their amazing traction control systems they can go from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds the V10 plus to be exact has been recorded to go from 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds on Pirelli Corsa Trofeo R's uh, but both of them are completely identical one is a bit more luxurious and looks a bit more you know civilized and the other looks kind of crazy and metal i think you can guess both so first of all my experience with the audi r8 v10 plus has been absolutely amazing both uh, i mean i've experienced the huracan and the v10 plus and both are absolutely amazing cars but the small changes here and there in the interior the looks completely change the feel of the car the huracan feels much more raw it feels much more metal while the V10 Plus feels a bit more civilized and luxurious. So one of the things that I didn't like exactly particularly about the uh, V10 Plus uh, is the shift panels. They feel kind of cheap sometimes but who gives a shit when you have a freaking V10 behind you. It sounds so good and uh, I think so it's kind of like a throwback to like the V10 from the Carrera GT. First of all, Volkswagen is in love with V10s. I mean, when they acquired Porsche, the first like ultimate supercar they built was the Carrera GT, which had a V10. They had the Gallardo, which had a V10. They had a, uh, a the, v, uh, the old R8, which had a V10. They love big engines. So having a, such a huge engine in this car is absolutely beautiful. Uh, everything else like the carbon fiber, everything is, has an uh, immaculate finish. The interior is absolutely gorgeous as usual Audis. They have amazing build quality, they have amazing leather, they have amazing materials. Everything was amazing. Uh, but the thing, the biggest gimmick in the car has to be the virtual cockpit. It was the first Audi to be ever produced with the virtual cockpit and it is absolutely amazing. With the recent cars like the A7, the new A7, the new A8, they have improved the virtual cockpit and if, I, if we can get like a 2018 R8 with the new 2.0 virtual cockpit, it would be absolutely amazing. The car is a huge, huge tech fest. They have kind of those ghost air conditioning controls which look absolutely amazing. Uh, but other than that, it is, it is a super minimalistic car. I mean, uh, first of all, the drivetrain is amazing, the Quattro drivetrain. I think so, it differs a little bit from the Huracan one, but it's, it's mind-blowing. Uh, but the thing that gets to me the most is the noise. I mean, the noise is just, just amazing. can't get a better sounding engine, at least in its class. The 570S, the Turbos, the Turbos sounds like a freaking vacuum. The V10 Plus is the car to buy if you want an amazing supercar experience and not particularly speed or anything. So this is the interior of the Audi R8 and as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean like everywhere you look it is leather and carbon fiber and this kind of brushed aluminium and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the whole cockpit is very functional as you can see everywhere you look it is like this is the Audi MMI system and then like everything the virtual cockpit it helps a lot like when you're driving the virtual cockpit can turn into the map and like you can drive without like diverting your vision to like like the center console 
Uh, the only thing I don't like about this interior has to be these shift barrels. They feel kind of weird and I don't like the click of them but other than that everything in this car has to be A class. Nothing can beat this interior. It is the most functional supercar interior I have ever seen. So do I like the V10 Plus? It's an obvious yes and that's it for today. Please follow the drivers up on Instagram, on YouTube, keep liking your videos, post your comments in the comment section down below if you didn't like me and if you think I'm a greedy bastard because I only see review supercars and like the other two brothers, Yash Patil and Abhishek Patil, I know I'm a greedy bastard. Peace out.